So before we get started, the lighting is super off. I'm using a new card that I don't know if it's a card or if it's something to do with like the camera or I don't know, but my lighting is completely off today, so forgive me, but let's go into this video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Snack Time with Chip. I'm Chip and let's get into this video. I really hope you enjoy it. So today I wanted to come and share my reviews on the Natasha Denona Holiday palettes of 2017 and this is the number one in Joya and the number two in Aries or I think it's Aries how you pronounce it um so yeah so I've been using these for a little while and I wanted to give you guys not only my review but swatches and also how I created this look using both of the palettes so yeah let's just jump into this video Okay, so as far as these palettes go, I really think they are adorable as far as packaging. I love the gold. I love just the clear um, lid so you can see the product inside. And yeah, I mean, they are pricey. They are $48 a piece. And so I think that total with five shadows, that was like around $9.60-ish per shadow, which isn't... I mean, I guess to most people that's a lot, but to some it's it's eh, okay. Um, but for me, when I'm thinking $48 and I'm only getting five shadows, that is a the lot to pay of for. The eyeshadows, they are in various, I guess, again, um, slender, lightweight packaging. Um, you see that it is a clear top, which I do like. So when you store these eyeshadow palettes, you can see what color you're reaching for. It says Natasha Denona in like a rose gold print on the lid. And it opens up actually almost all the way down. It does not fold back, but it still opens and it's secured so the lid does not flop back and forth. And like I said, this is like a very nice gold packaging on the product. And it snaps right back. So it's not a magnetic closure, but it is very secure and very sturdy packaging. On the back of the um, eyeshadow palettes themselves, it says Natasha Denona Holiday Eyeshadow Palette 5 and also gives you that it is made in Italy and the names also are on the back of the packaging. So that's very nice. And in each pan, you get 2.5 grams um, or 0 0.08 ounces. And the organization is really nice. I feel like all the shadows go together. Um, you can make a look in one shadow or in one palette which I like. I like that they go together nicely so you can combine each palette or both palettes together to make a look. I do like these palettes so let's go into swatching. So when you open the palette um, there's no names or anything on the actual product. It is available on the back. Um, but you just, oh this gold. This is the number one Joya palette. The gold just call to me when I first saw it online and I really I wasn't expecting to get these 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 palettes I wasn't like it wasn't on my list until I saw it in person and I was like oh my god <laughs> um but yeah if you watch my haul previously um my VIB haul I did get these during the VIB sale I did kind of go ham on a lot of Natasha Denona palettes and I don't know these just happened to fall in my bag and I was like, yeah, we'll, we'll take you home. We'll take you home. <laughs> okay, so let's get into swatches, enough chit chat. All right, so when looking at the palette, um, you have peach gold, which looks to be like a duochrome. And then you have fuchsia gold, red grape, and star bronze. So let's just get into ran out of fingers. <laughs> I'll use them later. I'll use my thumb. Those are so pigmented, you guys. Like, oh, that gold is just so pretty. 
And then let me get the last color here, which was that star bronze color. These are the shadows from the first palette, the number one Joya palette. And that gold is just stunning. But I feel like all of the shadows are really pretty. Even the matte, the fuchsia color is very pretty. Now, all of these I feel like blended out beautifully. Um, definitely the matte color is a great matte like it is so pigmented it blends out so seamlessly on my crease color and then I used that um, which they're saying is a duochrome and I'm not seeing a lot of duochrome in this shadow um, and this is the peach gold shade and I use that um, on top of the concealer for the cut crease and I really like it it packed on nicely Re there was no fallout when I used this palette so let's go ahead and watch the number two Aries palette and so believe it or not what drew me to this palette was the blue color so beautiful the blue is called ice blue oh it's just oh I remember seeing this one on a Facebook post and yeah they used this blue and I was like I need this palette just for that blue color Oh, so yeah, so let's go ahead and swatch. So the names of the eyeshadows, let's see, starting here, we have Nude, Red Bronze, Burnt Terracotta, Ice Blue, and Peach Bronze. So pretty. These are the shades from the second palette. And yeah, that blue is just gorgeous. So pretty. And again, the matte is very pigmented and blends out really well. I used the nude shade as an inner corner highlight in this look and I love the way that it turned out. It's very pigmented and is a very nice highlighty shade. I feel like you could even use this nude color as a highlight if you wanted to um, but it paired really nicely with the number one eyeshadow palette. So yeah so these are the shades from both palettes. So this is for number one Joya and this is number two Aries. And yeah, I am just really loving these eyeshadows. But yeah, so I really love these eyeshadow palettes. I feel like the color pigmentation is amazing. The price is a little high, but you kind of, you're paying for, I think, the product and the brand name. Natasha Denona is known for her high priced palettes, but you buy, you pay for what you get for, you know, something like that. So um, I don't mind spending 48 on these. I feel like they're worth the money. And so yeah, so as far as packaging goes, watches 10 out of 10 love it so yes yeah, so let's jump into how I created this look and I'll give you my final thoughts okay, so let's end. go ahead with the fall tutorial I'm gonna go in with my morphe m504 brush and I'm using a transition color from my ABH single eyeshadows I'm using sienna and I'm just going to apply that on my crease and above my crease And just making sure to really blend this color out. Just going back with a little bit more product and just blending this. Sienna color out, really diffusing it all over my top lid and through my crease. Okay, now using the um, Natasha Denona palette, I'm going to go in with the number one Joya palette and I'm going to go in first with the color Fuchsia, which is that um, matte pink purple fuchsia color in the palette and what I'm going to use is a Morphe E27 brush and I'm going to blend this in my crease and just focus it in my crease area. So 
So just focus it in the crease area. And then go back with my first blending brush, that Morphe 504 brush, and blend in the upper crease. And this just makes sure that there's no harsh line. Okay, after that, I'm gonna go back in with the E27 brush from Morphe, take more of that fuchsia matte color, and blend it in the outer V only. I just wanna focus the color in the outer V area. So the outermost portion of the eye, just blend it in that area. Just like so. Okay, now I'm going to take my concealer of choice, which is the NARS. Um, this is a NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And I'm taking my Sigma Extravaganza brush, my Concealer F75. I love this brush for any type of concealer work. And I'm going to create a cut crease. So looking down, I'm just going to place the brush and move it up. Creating that cut crease. Now I'm going to fill in. You don't want too much concealer. And blend it. Try to get it as sheer as you can at the kind of the end tail of the concealer. Now I'm gonna go back in with that Morphe E27 without any fresh product, and I'm just gonna blend on top like that harsh line of the concealer. I just wanna blend it out a bit. Okay. Now taking my Sigma eyeshadow brush, the E55, going back into that Natasha Denona palette, I'm going to go in still in the number one Joya palette. I'm going to go in for the peach gold, which is kind of the um, duochrome shadow in this palette. And I'm going to tap that and pack that onto the concealer. Okay, and I'm pretty satisfied with that. Going back again with the E27 Morphe brush and just making sure everything is blended smooth at the edges. Now, with this same E27 brush, I'm going to go in back to the Natasha Number 1 Joya palette, and I'm going to grab the color Red Grape. And this is just a darker fuchsia, and it has a little bit of shimmer to it. And I just want to pack that on the outer corner of the eye. And blend it out. And I'm just using this to kind of darken that outer V portion. That looks good. Now I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D eye, liquid eyeliner and this, this is the waterproof in Trooper. And I'm going to create a wing liner. And I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara, which I am completely obsessed with. Add some lashes. So I've been loving the Huda lashes so far that I hauled. And I'm using the... Um, jade lashes and I'm just going to add some duo glue eyelash adhesive to the band. Okay, lashes are on and I'm going to use my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Liner in Zero, which is the black and just line my underline. Now I'm going to jump into the number two palette from the Natasha Holiday set and I'm going to use the color in 
I want to say it's, yeah, in nude. And I'm using this as a highlight color, like a tear interduct highlight color. Just like so. Okay guys, so I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I tried to make a look that I could use something from both palettes. Um, so my thoughts on these, they blend out so beautifully, like the mattes blend out amazing. Um, I do really like, again, that nude color from the number two palette as an inner eye color inner eye highlight color um and again you can use that as a highlight on your cheeks so yeah I love that I was able to play with both palettes with one look and my honest thoughts about this palette is 10 out of 10 do you need this palette no I'm not saying like drop $48 right now and go get them but I'm saying if you're interested in them and you weren't really like sure give them a shot because I am not disappointed on anything. The colors are beautiful, the packaging beautiful, and the wear of them beautiful. So I've used these for a few um, weeks now and, well, a few days. Um, it's been like, you know, Thanksgiving. I did a Thanksgiving look with this. Um, I just wanted to play with makeup and I was playing with this palette. Um, I used this to do some Christmas photos. So I've used it a couple of times and I think I am just in love with these palettes. And I love enough that I kind of want to buy some as backup, but I know I shouldn't. <laughs> But yeah, so if you have any other questions on these palettes, let me know in the comments down below. And if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Thanks for joining the Snack Time family. And if you're coming back, thanks again for all the support. And I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday. I'll be trying to do some holiday looks for you guys this year. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.